time at Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for coming on this video, making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is Tuesday. Still Tuesday by the time this video goes up, I hope. And today is what I eat in a day on Weight Watchers. Here's the snippets of some of the food I ate last week. I give you the points. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, there might be a more food than usual because I feel like I was trying to be more diligent in posting. So I hope there is. I haven't even done it yet, but I'm hopeful. Uh, there may be a few tastings in here as well. So there is no retro recipe this week. Just didn't have time. Timmy was here. So maybe next week. So I hope you enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's roll that food footage. Breakfast this morning is the OG overnight oats with a caramel premier protein, actually caramel popcorn. It is five points, three for my oats, one for my protein, and one for the quarter cup of cottage cheese that I had left that I threw in there for my protein. So that is my overnight oats with my zero point pumpkin seeds, Billy chips, and crushed hemp. But enjoy this delicious breakfast of this morning. It's my favorite. Breakfast this morning is Dan and Light Fit Greek Strawberry Cheesecake. It's two points. And I have one point of the Seven Sundays Maple Sea Salt for one point. So my breakfast is three points. I, I'm not awake yet, but the, uh, that's, that's breakfast this morning. Having a little girl lunch. It's been a hot minute since I've had a girl lunch on my Uba Home Divided Dish. But we are here. Cucumbers, chicken breast. My homemade ranch that I just did on my vlog. You will see that on what I eat in a day um, last week. Because you'll see this on next week's what I eat in a day. So it's so on my uh, website, distribute.com for homemade easy ranch. Zero points for that amount. Radishes, carrot chips, and a cheese stick. So points wise, um, on, the, on the diabetic plan, this you'd have to count this. Because you count yogurt. Honestly, what would it be? A point? Maybe two. I don't know. I don't think I think it would just be one point. And the cheese stick is two points on all plans. So that is my girl lunch today on my divided dish. Got my protein, got my veg, got my protein. I just wrote my cheese and bread. So yeah, it's a nice, nice, well balanced lunch, in my opinion, anyway. Time for a tasting. I got these at Big Lots on the checkout section. Are you checking out? Better hotter snacks egg and lentil protein crisps sea salt and vinegar 12 grams of protein i it scans two points and it scans three points so it's either two or three 135 calories that we've never had these before oh, so it's todd's it's todd's better todd's the todd snacks his name is todd i mean the things over I got that little powdery protein aftertaste. Yeah, I mean, they were 89 cents. I don't hate them. Don't know if I love them, but for 89 cents, I probably would buy them again. I mean, 12 grams of protein. It's crunch. It's salt and vinegar. It does have that little kind of powderiness at the end, like, like I need to drink. Like, do you remember we used to have those broad bean snacks? That's what it reminds me of, the broad bean snacks, where I'm like, Ugh! Like, my, all the saliva just went out of my mouth. So... I'll eat these with my lunch. Not bad. I give it a three and a half out of five. All right, having a little girl lunch. I got some chicken tenders, cucumbers, radishes, carrots, my homemade ranch, heart of palm, and a cheese stick. This whole plate is two points. This is all zero. And I'm going to have this better Todd snacks. I just did a tasting. These it scans two or three points. So I'm gonna to have to figure out whether it's two or three. I'm gonna say it's probably three because of the 135 calories. That's what I'm going to, that's the one I'm going to shoot track, but that's going to be my girl lunch today. All right, just finished filming. I'm going to have a five point built strawberry chocolate, if we call this one. Um, strawberry milk, milk chocolate? I guess it is. Well, strawberry milk chocolate puff. It is five points. I just scanned it. 17 grams of protein and they are gluten free. So I'm going to enjoy this little midday snack because I still have a lot to eat today. And I'm a bit hungry. Peek in the inside.
Dinner tonight, I did not record it. It is five points for the pasta, five points for the salad kit. I think that's about it. I'm gonna give it 11 points and be done with it, but that was my dinner. Breakfast this morning is a mess, <laughs> a hodgepodge. It's a huge bowl of food. I have, I finished a little mini bell peppers, two, a little bit of onion. Uh, there was a quarter of a zucchini and about a half a bag of coleslaw mix. <laughs> Saute that up. I added an egg and a little bit of egg white, a lot of egg white actually, and some diced up roasted turkey. So this whole bowl and some sun-dried tomatoes and fresh basil on top. These are not in oil. They're just plain. This whole bowl is zero points. It's huge, but it is all vegetables. So I'm going to enjoy this zero point breakfast this morning. I really enjoy cabbage sauteed in the morning with some egg. It's really good. So like I said, there's about half a cup of egg white and one egg to bind it. So that is my breakfast this morning. I know it's huge. I'm going to be a lot, I'm going to be very gassy later today. I have a feeling. Dinner at the Amish market. I had chicken salad over a bed of lettuce. I just have to count the mayonnaise because that's all white meat chicken. So I gave it seven points. I had no idea, but that's what I gave it. So that was my dinner. It was delicious. Here's a girl lunch. I think this is zero points. Heart of palm, radishes, cucumbers, carrots, bell pepper, roasted turkey, and my zero point ranch dip. That amount is zero. So yes, this is a zero point girl lunch. Not zero calories, but zero points. So Nice protein in my dip, protein in my turkey. So I'm excited to dig into this delicious plate of deliciousness. Having breakfast on the road, but I was in Wawa and look what they have. You know, I love these. This is a cookies and caramel bear bells, one of the new ones. I love this one. Six points, but honestly, it's delicious. I, I have 20 grams of protein, six points. Going to be my quick little... I just got weighed, just kind of Weight Watchers, so I needed something because I have a meeting, so I didn't. I meant to pack a bar, and I forgot. Shocked that I forget. I know you're all shocked. But I didn't want to go without, so I thought I'd stop in Wawa, and I was so excited to see these. I'm super excited. Oops, gonna go enjoy this. Cooked up the bag of coleslaw mix, kind of egg roll in a bowl with the chicken on the side. I'm gonna chop it up in there, and I just have some fresh tomatoes and. Four points for my chicken, zero for my cabbage. And that's going to be my dinner tonight so far. I may go back for another, some more cabbage, maybe a little bit more chicken. Breakfast this morning is a pancake. I just use, I always make one great big pancake. You can make smaller ones. Just easier some days to make one big one. So I am using the Live G Free Gluten Free Pancake and Baking Mix. So third cup is five points. I did a little egg white and some water, a little cinnamon, and I have some of the sugar-free maple syrup on top. So this is a five-point pancake. It's pretty thick. But I made my breakfast this morning. This was felt like pancakes. I'm curious to how this brand tastes. We'll see. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today, Dee? Ghost cereal. Now, this is not mine. This is Peter's, but... I thought some of you might be interested in, in how it tastes and is it worth it. The serving is one cup and it's 170 calories, six points. I did think that was steep for a bowl of a cup of cereal. There is 18 grams of protein. There is less than a gram of fiber. Eight grams of total sugar includes five grams of added sugar. Three and a half grams of saturated fat, seven grams of total fat. So not something I would eat. Now it's in the flavor of peanut butter, but these could be used as like a topping to yogurt. So you wouldn't use the full cup. So maybe that would be like a way to go. But then again, you're not getting all that protein from a little bit of that. But let's see. Well, the puffs are little. So yeah, maybe the cup will be a look more than it is. Interesting. We'll see. Taking this one for the team. Like the puffs are smaller than I'm normally seeing, like peanut butter puffs. So 
okay. I don't hate it, don't love it. I mean, can I say the calories were? 170 for a cup. I don't know. I mean, you're getting 18 grams of protein. So if you're a person that needs protein goals and that, maybe you can justify that. It's not heavy in peanut butter. Light. It does give you that powderiness at the end, like protein things do. Um, I wouldn't buy it again, personally. Um, I prefer the other peanut butter ones. It was $10 a box. So yeah. Give it like a three and a half out of five. Interesting though. Not for me though. But I'll right, give you a little taste test. All right, we're going to do a tasting. I have these for a while. This is a solely half of an organic pineapple with coconut. This is supposed to be half an organic pineapple squashed into this. I'm not sure. It scans at three points. It's 100% vegan, non-GMO verified, U.S. organic. Um, yeah, ingredients are organic pineapple, organic coconut. Contains tree nuts and coconut. It's 80 calories. One gram of protein. 10 grams of sugar and with no added sugar. So I've seen these, I've had this. I didn't know, I wonder where it went. I finally found it. So we're gonna try it today. If I can get it open. If I can get it open, I'm not sure how it even opens. Like they don't make it easy. Maybe the, when I open it, the whole pineapple is gonna pop out. So, the Weight Watcher says to count it now, again, if you think that there's nothing added to it, then by all means, you don't have to. There's 10 grams of sugar in this sucker. Because who would eat a whole pineapple, a whole half a pineapple anyway? Apparently, this is a half a pineapple. It smells delicious, though. Mmm. This is good. Ooh, I love pineapple. This is a five out of five for flavor. Phenomenal. I got this in the produce section of my local store. So I'm gonna go enjoy it. Three points or not, I'm eating it. A little, um, little egg roll in a bowl. Well, without the egg roll. This is just sauteed cabbage with some um, roasted turkey. So that is zero points with some pickled onion because, you know, it's how I roll. With a five-point bag of Popcorners kettle chips for dinner tonight. Just eating what's around, my lovelies. Breakfast this morning is making another appearance. It's the last of the Grace's oat bread. Well, I did freeze some, but this is the last of what I had out. It's a little thicker than usual, so I'll say three points. I have avocado for one. It's half a tub, an egg, and some hot sauce. So that is my three, four point breakfast. See how thick that is? Yeah. When I made too thin and I thought, yeah, we'll just go for the thick. We'll go for it. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know with a big old thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comment section below. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're not, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D, where we are living the WW lifestyle one meal at a time. Healthy lifestyle, one meal at a time. So if that's something you're interested in, you need to, you know, have make better choices, hit that subscribe button, join our community here on the tube. We also are on Facebook, Dish With These Crew. Come join us there as well. Lovely people over there. You will love the community on Facebook. And I'm also on Instagram. Everything is linked down below, all my social media, if you ever want to follow me at different places. Um, Weight Watchers Connect, um, TikTok. The TikTok. <laughs> that one's a difficult one. But I hope you join me anywhere. Subscribe, comment, like, share. You know, helps out the, the girls here on the tube if you help us out with all that. Um, it's all free. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. And it helps out our channel. So please feel free to subscribe. If you know anybody, like I said, you can share anything on a Facebook group would be fantastic as well. Always good to help out a girl. I'd love that. And I will dish with you another day. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye for now.